some point after you uh, finish making your plate, um, the rim will get to a certain dryness and you will want to flip the plate over and let the foot dry. So that's where we're at right now. This piece has been drying overnight and drying time will vary from studio to studio. So if you're only coming to class once a week, you have to be careful about how you wrap your pieces up so that when you're in class the next time, your, your pieces will be close to ready for trimming. And I actually like to be there um, when my pieces are completely unwrapped. So I will not just leave my pieces unwrapped if I'm going to be gone for more than a day, really. So this is what we start with. We're going to put the piece on the wheel head and center it to those concentric circles and begin the centering process. So there, right there, and I'll stop it. Oh, sorry about that. Push it away. Just keep in mind, you're not going from the rim, you're, you're judging from the foot. And those can sometimes be a little different. So. Okay, there we are, stabilized. Now, the, f as far as I'm concerned, plates are a very simple form to make, and the, the most difficulty is in the trimming. I mean, that's, that's where the plate really comes to life, because it's, it's a very, um, quite a heavy object to, to, start, to start with. And for me, in the way that I make plates, making them thick is, is really the, the, the only safe way to go. If you make them thin, they they tend to lose their shape in in the firing and they're just harder to handle so I like a, a nice hearty form so again first thing I'm going to do make sure this is nice and flat and then I'm going to go over to the side and just give this a little attention at this edge here all right so far, so good. Now I'm going to make my mark on the inside where I want my foot to be. Now pressing on the right side of the tool to extract that clay wool. And the, the plate is flat, so that's what I'm going for. Nice flat surface. So I should have, I should be able to go down a good quarter of an inch here because um, I left myself a, a half inch um, at the base. So I'm going to establish that on this side over here and just work this area out a little more. I might not be going full speed, but I'm going faster. Faster than slower, for sure. And you know you, know you have a, 
at least a quarter inch to, to trim down into this form. So. I'm gonna thin this down a little bit by pressing down from the top. Coming in at an angle, just shaping up the foot a little more. And also keeping in mind the depth on the other side. So I want that to be consistent as well. Again, putting pressure on the right side of my tool. And sometimes you can hear the sound of hollowness if you tap the bottom of your pot. Um, I find it a little more helpful to just, you know, visually know, um, be really in touch with the kind of forms that I throw and, and know that I have a half inch to work with so I go by that more than sound but it, it can be comforting at times okay and again uh, beveling that edge slightly give it a little lift and moving in with the decorative swirl, if I so desire. Okay. And that's the plate. Foot. <laughs> All, right. All right. Okay, and here we have the uh, cross section of the plate. Consistent wall thickness. With the addition of the foot ring, a little bit thicker form, but it's a larger form. You're going to be stacking this form, so just something to think about. Um, you can go thinner, uh, but then other problems may arise in the firing of a large flat form. So just things to keep in mind. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.